Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'd like to share with you what I learned when I got my very first solar battery charger. Right off the bat, this is not a sponsored review. I bought both of these chargers with my own cash money. So hopefully that gives me some shred of credibility. So this little charger uh, caught my eye. I saw it in the uh, catalog and uh, it's a Harbor Freight 7 watt solar panel kit and it sells for $29.99 and the reason why it caught my eye is because this is the one I've been seeing for many years it's a 1.5 watt solar battery charger and it's $14.99 so this 7 watt kit is only uh, double the price but it's gonna put out or it should put out more than six times the electricity so I don't think I can uh, mention uh, this solar panel kit without mentioning my main battery charger. And this is my main battery charger maintainer. I got this back in 2015 and this has been my go-to. I really like this. I got this for uh, $39.99 from Walmart. And I uh, went online to see if it was still available and it's not. Uh, they came out with a new model that does uh, 15 amps instead of 12 amps and unfortunately they raised the price to $59.99 so uh, at that price I don't think this is a good value and I probably would not buy this again but uh, let me give you a quick look at it uh, real quick <clears throat> So this is it here hanging up on the wall. And what's nice about it is it has a uh, built-in voltmeter uh, to let you know what the battery voltage is. And it's got a setting on here for standard batteries or AGM batteries. And it's got two power settings, a 3 amp uh, maintain and a 12 volt um, full power or a 12 amp full uh, charge and uh, it even has some status lights on here for charging and maintaining um, it's got a reverse polarity light and uh, it even has a cooling fan on here I found out it had a cooling fan uh, when I charged a, a neighbor's dead battery from zero and it, it went over to that full 12 amp charge and the fan kicked on and uh, one thing about this is uh, there's like a secret menu. I didn't learn about this until about two years after I got it. But uh, sometimes you'll get a, a dead battery that's so dead that when you plug this thing on, it won't charge because it won't register any voltage. Because this thing has a microprocessor in it to uh, uh, check out the battery before it starts charging. So check this out. The secret menu... Uh, to get a battery to start charging if it's completely dead is you hold down both of these buttons and then plug it in oh, there you go and you can hear you can automatically hear the fan uh, come on and it goes into this wackadoo menu state and what this does is it puts it into a constant uh, one amp charge uh, just to bring the battery up to a safe level and uh, this is on a timed setting it, it only will run like this for 25 minutes because it doesn't want to damage uh, the battery so to get it out of this menu you just unplug it and it'll go back to normal uh, so like I said I've been using this for five years and uh, this thing has worked out great So back to this uh, solar panel kit, uh, this is not going to replace that charger, this is only going to be a supplemental item that I can use uh, during the day and leave in my car because I park the Vic on the driveway and the Merc in the garage most of the time. And uh, I really don't like uh, running an extension cord out to the Vic uh, during the day or even at night. So. Um, I tried, I tried to order this uh, Harbor Freight uh, solar panel kit on the website and uh, it wouldn't let me. Uh, it was only available in store. 
So I had to go down to the uh, an actual brick and mortar store to buy this. And so when I got there, I actually brought a coupon with me. They've always got those 20% off coupons. So I got it, was able to get it for $23.99. And when I got it home, uh, the first thing I did is I opened up the owner's manual because I had five uh, really important questions. And um, the first question was, is it safe to leave plugged into the car unattended for long periods of time? Uh, number two, uh, will it drain the battery at night when there's no sun? Number three, exactly how many amps of current will it give my car battery? Number four, does the included USB charger actually work? And number five, how long is the power cord? So I've had this thing for a few days now and I've done some preliminary testing and uh, uh, so far my answers to these questions uh, number one is no you do not want to leave this uh, plugged into your car unattended for long periods of time and I'll tell you about that uh, just in a second here uh, number two no it will not drain the battery at night and I was able to confirm and verify that it does have a blocking diode and it will not uh, drain your battery at night and number three, I was able to get some testing done and in 100% direct sunlight, uh, this thing puts out 495 milliamp. And I tested it on a cloudy day. Uh, I want to say it was 100% cloudy because it was actually raining on and off. And it was still able to put out 206 milliamp. So I'm really impressed with those numbers. And number four, it comes with this little... Uh, this little uh, USB charger and uh, I guess you can use this to or I guess they think you can charge this thing or charge a cell phone or a tablet and so I hooked this up to a cell phone and I measured the current and it's only putting out 150 milliamp in direct sunlight so the answer is no this I mean technically this thing works but it's going to take you a long time and number five, the power cord is eight feet long, and that's pretty nice. So uh, let me tell you about the cell phone charger real quick. Um, uh, I used an old cell phone because I wasn't sure if it was going to blow it up. And uh, it's got a detachable battery, so I was able to uh, pull it out and see what the capacity was. And it was a uh, 3080 milliamp battery. And uh, the nice thing about it is it has Quick Charge 3.0 and the uh, included charger is a 1500 milliamp and it uses the uh, USB Type-C connector. So uh, I, I drained it to 50% and I let it run for 30 minutes and it went to 85% uh, battery in only 30 minutes. And uh, then I, I, the next day, or I drained the phone and the next day I, I started the test at 50%. Uh, connected it up to the solar charger and let it run for 30 minutes and it only went to 57 percent so technically it works but it's you're going to be there for a while trying to charge a cell phone uh, with this little included adapter it, it, it was nice nice of them to include it but this thing is like a toy <clears throat> Okay, so uh, back to the uh, owner's manual here. When I got home, I started reading this owner's manual. And on page two, in bold lettering, it says, use an appropriate charge controller whenever connected to battery. And on page six, it gives you instructions on how to connect it directly to your battery with the included uh, cigarette plug or the alligator clamps. So uh, I read this thing a few times and I'm still confused whether uh, you can connect it directly to your car battery or whether you need to get a charge controller. And by the way, this is the uh, cigarette plug. You know, it's about, is that a foot, 18 inches? And it's got the, uh, of course, it's got the standard SAE pigtail plug. And these are the uh, alligator clamps, about uh, 18 inches long. So I had to get online to find out what this uh, charge controller 
uh, nonsense is. And uh, I found out the conventional wisdom is that if you have a solar panel that is 5 watts or below, uh, you really don't need one. But if your panel is above 5 watts, uh, during certain uh, lighting conditions, it could be dangerous and damage your battery by uh, producing too much electricity and giving it either too much voltage or too much uh, amperage. So I, I did some research and I found this is a pretty popular uh, solar panel charge controller and this is the one I would probably buy. I found this on Amazon for $19.99 and I had to go to the uh, manufacturer website to find out what it actually does and it's got a statement on here it says battery tender solar controller allows you to convert an existing solar panel into your solar or excuse me let me start over battery tender solar controller allows you to convert an existing solar panel into a solar charger using battery tender patented super smart charging algorithm usable input range between 5 and 45 watts uh, five year warranty so this thing uh, you can hook it up to a solar panel from 5 watt to 45 watt and it's going to safely uh, charge a battery uh, because it has a microprocessor uh, built into this unit and so it's going to know uh, when to charge a battery and when to shut off and that is uh, nice because uh, my other charger maintainer also has a microprocessor uh, built into it. So that's why these things are called automatic uh, float chargers or float maintainers. So uh, I've done some um, preliminary testing here and uh, it looks like for my application I might be able to get away uh, without one of these things uh, because I, I don't plan on leaving this connected to the car. I only plan on using it for a few hours a day throughout the day. So, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I think this thing is a winner. I think this thing is a keeper. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.